With a full moon overhead, the cowboy crew gathers at the chuck wagon on the Four Sixes Ranch. As dawn breaks, they catch their horses, saddle up, and ride out. Together, they round up cows and calves and bring them into the corrals for sorting and branding. It's a tradition that began more than 140 years ago on this historic Texas ranch. The ranch was started in 1870 by uh, Bart Burnett, founded this ranch. The legend is, is he won the, won the ranch uh, in a game of poker with four sixes. That's a really good legend and a really good story, but it's really not true. The truth of the matter is, when he started the ranch, he bought a hundred head of steers that were carrying the Four Sixes brand, and it was a really good brand, and so he bought the brand when he bought the yearlings. Today, the Four Sixes Ranch stretches across 160,000 acres, and it's still in the same family, owned by Burke Burnett's great-granddaughter, Ann Marion. Ann spent a lot of time out here as a child. I've never met a person or an employer ever in my life who loves this ranch, loves the cattle and the horse industry, and loves her people the way that Ann does. She is the, the backbone and the driving force behind this ranch. The Four Sixes is known worldwide, not only as a historic Texas cattle operation, but also for producing top quality American quarter horses for racing and ranch work. You know, our goal with these ranch horses is, is to produce the world's best ranch horse. You know, the, the horse here is a vital component of our everyday operation of the ranch and gathering the cattle, sorting the cattle, uh, calf branding time. So a horse is a very necessary component of our everyday operation here on the ranch. The care of the animals on the Four Sixes Ranch is matched by the care given to the land. When fully stocked, the ranch runs more than 4,000 cows. But when four years of intense drought scarred the landscape, the ranch leadership made the difficult decision to move cattle off this land. In 2011, we started into the worst drought that I have ever seen in my life, and a lot of the old timers said that it was a lot worse than it was the drought of the 50s. You know, we just got to the point that we were gonna hurt this ranch really bad. What they had to do here in 2011 when we had what they called a 100 year drought or really what I consider heroic measures to uh, maintain their habitat, maintain their grass. You know, they shipped thousands of cattle uh, from here to protect this environment. And, you know, subsequently they did not see a lot of the losses that we saw in some other places. Our decision was not only to move the cattle to save the ranch, and, and not hurt the ecosystem here so that we could recover quicker. But the decision also was made uh, to not let any employees go. Uh, we employ, you know, 60 to 70 people, and all those people have families. We have second and third generation people work here because Ann is the type of employer that she is. Uh, she takes care of her people in good and bad times. With record rains in May of 2015, the land is now greener than ever and the cows are back. But water is a constant challenge on the Four Sixes, so they've built stock tanks to catch and store water for the cattle. And they've installed 120 miles of pipeline and solar pumps to feed water troughs. But the biggest challenge on this land is the battle against brush. When I moved here uh, 17 years ago, this was a, a mesquite and cedar thicket from fence to fence, 160,000 acres of, of brush. And Ann made the decision that she wanted to put this ranch back into to production the way it would have been in 1870 when her, her great granddad established the ranch. So she started uh, a major brush control program in, in reclaiming the land. This, this ranch, when it was completely covered with brush, would run a, a cow-calf unit to 60 to 80 acres. We can safely run a cow-calf unit now, year-round, on 30 to 40 acres. So we have improved the stocking rate tremendously. The ranch team has worked hard to mechanically remove invasive brush on more than 100,000 acres. The result is much more abundant forage and diverse prairie grasslands. But the brush removal has been done with an eye toward maintaining wildlife and quail habitat. The Four Sixes walks that fine line between uh, wildlife management of wildlife habitat and livestock management as well as anybody probably can. This is about as good a quail habitat as you're going to see anywhere in the country. And so 
really when individuals know what they're doing as far as you're actually managing grass when you're managing cattle, which is both good for quail and cattle, um, you can see that they coexist really well. Cattle have grazed the range on the Four Sixes Ranch going back 140 years now. In that time, the tradition of care for the land and stewardship for the future has been passed from one generation to the next. I think part of our responsibility as ranchers and as managers is not only to manage the land, manage the grass, manage the cattle, the horses, and the men, but we have a great opportunity to raise good citizens. I don't know of a better place in the world than to raise a, your kids on a ranch. I'm proud of where we've been, I'm proud of what we've done, but uh, I'm really looking forward to what we do in the future.